started off with some lovely superb timing from Rohit Sharma. Shubman Gill, of course, was getting the boundaries. I thought that particular shot from Rohit Sharma was excellent too. And this six-over cover, Karthik, fantastic. He's such a pleasing player. Both of them, in fact, are such wonderful players to watch. Make batting look very easy. But before this happened, I thought he came too early into the shot. He had seen the ball too early. Just getting a cue in. Shubman Gill picked the bowler nicely. Some special shots against Mitchell Santner, who was bowling well. Virat Kohli again came in and looked very brisk before a stunning delivery. Got rid of him. And Mitchell Santa was going through a good spell. Michael Bracewell, maybe he'll think if he had had this, the score would have looked very different. But then the very same over got swept for six to bring Shubman Gill's half century. A wicket for Lockie Ferguson. Surya Kumar Yadav played some special shots at the other end. Shubman Gill, nothing could stop him. Uh, there's a partnership that took India from 110 for three slightly perilous up to 175 before Darrell Mitchell picked up a wicket. Then another partnership before uh, Shuman Gill got a century. Was to get a double as he went along in the company of Hardik Pandya. He put on uh, another 74. He's had some good shots, some unusual ones, as you saw over there, before this very controversial dismissal ended up being adjudged in favour of the bowler. That made it 249 for five. Really, thereafter, it was all Shubman Gill. Washington Sundar was around for a little while. We gave Shipley a wicket, and then towards the end, he just erupted. A series of sixes taking him to a double hundred. It was a magnificent, genuinely magnificent innings from Shuman Gill. And it required a catch of that quality to send him back. Gone for 208, India finished 